Lawmakers in the U.S. state of Colorado are considering new restrictions on the packaging and labeling of edible marijuana. Sales of edible pot have soared since recreational mar marijuana became legal this year. But some doctors warn the products can be dangerous. CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi has more from Denver. At the Botanicare dispensary in North Glen, Colorado, it's not just stuff you smoke that's available over the counter. Owner Robin Hackett says edible pot is a lifeline for her medical marijuana patients, and more and more recreational users like it too. She gets very few complaints. Most folks, you know, ease themselves into it, and when they do do too much, they usually just want to go to sleep and take a nap. Recently, however, an incident involving edibles at a Denver hotel provided a serious wake-up call to Coloradans who are still wrestling with the pros and cons of legal marijuana. According to the coroner, 19-year-old Levi Tamba ate some marijuana-infused cookies, became hostile, and then jumped over a fourth-floor balcony railing to his death. He was classified as an accident, but pot was termed a significant contributing factor. People describe it as sort of hitting him like a ton of bricks. Dr. Alvin Bronstein of the Rocky Mountain Poison Center says emergency room visits by people who've consumed edibles are way up. He says these products can fool people because they don't take effect right away. So after 10 minutes, because they're impatient, they eat another one. And then maybe they'll eat a, another one. And then 20 to 30 minutes after that, it all hits at once. A study by the Denver Post found that the levels of THC, the main psychoactive chemical in marijuana, often differ dramatically from what's listed on the edibles label. We test um, our oil when we initially make it, and then we test the final products as well to make sure that our dosing is consistent and that um, we are putting the appropriate labeling on the package based on that dosing. His advice? Start slowly, try it, give it an hour, give it an hour and a half, um, before deciding if you're going to ingest more. Hackett says it's too early to judge edibles based on what happened here. It's not as dangerous as it sounds. This is a freak incident. And a learning experience, she says, something Coloradans are getting a big dose of these days. People don't really understand or know cannabis yet. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.